Okay guys, I just wanted to show you guys that we are uh, making progress on this part. Um, a lot of background noise, so I have to talk kind of loud, and I apologize for that. But uh, my main issue when I started this project and I bought this head, uh, the software that I upgraded was not reversing the, uh, the head correctly. As you see, it's doing it now. Um, with the help of Mr. Burman on the CNC Zone and uh, Al DiPaolo, who I followed the directions tonight to actually do a, a wrap and uh, kind of engrave my name into this little rod. As you can see, I've already kind of experimented with some other stuff. But um, now that I got, I kind of got the gist of how to set the UCS um, coordinate system so the machine knows where to start and where the rotation point is on this table. I had, and of course, this when I first started it today, I first brought it up on the screen. It was in laid motion, laid mode. So that's not really a good way to start because if you look at the icon. Um, it switches the axis around. It can't. It can't do anything useful. It just makes a really weird post. So um, I did the modification for Burr's instructions, and, and I made this little layout, just an engraving of my of my name. And I'm going to probably fast forward it because it takes a little time to run. But it's working pretty good now. I'm really, really happy that it's working. Um, with the help of uh, the Bobcat team and uh, the supporters on CNC Zone. Um, if without that, I would not have been able to get this far tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut down for a second, let this thing run a bit, and then uh, go into it a little more. Okay, again, as you can see, the plus and minuses are reversing the table really nice. I tried this when I first bought the software, and uh, it just was, and that, it, to me, an absolute, when you program it, it doesn't seem to me that it needs a plus or a minus, but uh, um, if you go A45 and you tell it to go back to 30, you shouldn't have to put a, a plus sign in there if it's at A+. Plus. Um, but this this uh, rotary table to me it kind of breaks that rule. Um, it really should not have to need a minus sign to uh, reverse the, the table direction. But fortunately, the post on Bobcad has uh, allowed me to uh, put the pluses and the minuses where they go, and it's engraved and pretty nice. It doesn't make any mistakes. Last time. I mean, I've been fighting this thing for about two weeks, and it, it made mistakes. It was doing complete wraps and scrapping out the part, and uh, I was getting all kinds of odd, odd, pretty uh, results here. As you can see, the, the name is uh, pretty simple. That's what I wanted to do. I just I started out with a really complex part at first, and uh, maybe I should have did this at first and started with something a little more simple um, to. Uh, Get to my goal here, and that's ultimately use this force axis to its full potential. So um, it's up to just about finished, almost to the last line. Again, I really want to thank Burman and uh, Al DiPaolo and the other guys at CNC Zone that have been working and maybe possibly looking at this. And uh, I'd gladly, you know, once I get this post styled in, I'd gladly share it with anybody from the Fadel and using this software. Uh, or maybe, you know, give it some advice. That line 440 mode, or, or uh, setting, was, was the kicker. So, as you can see, it's uh, got my name in there pretty good. So, um, I'm using a pocket routine out of the cam tree. It took me a while to find the wrapping. Uh, Al pulled off a little button off of the... Uh, um, off the side of the cam tree, it said wrapping, but I couldn't find it. It was off a sub sub tree, uh, and it, it took me a little while to find it. But I did find it to do this particular operation and uh, create a pocket. So it's 
to me, this is pretty simple baby steps into getting into those those more complex parts. Again, I started something that was the uh, coordinates were off, uh, the UCS were off way in the outer space, and, uh, and I, I just didn't notice any of that stuff. And, and I started just right off the bat, started doing tool pass, and nothing worked. Uh, and then it was stuck in a lathe mode, and, and uh, I wasn't getting any movements out of some of the uh, axes, like the A axis, when it goes into lathe mode. Hey, as you see, the, uh, eh, the thing's kind of inverted right now, and I, I could fix that pretty easy. I just got to flip the, uh, my name over in the, uh, in the CAD system to make it cut on the right side. So uh, I could maybe even, there's probably even a setting to reverse the table, I don't know. I'm sure somebody will pop in and say, yep, there's a little box to check or something to uh, reverse the table so it goes the direction that you actually lay it out on the screen. Uh, right now it seems to be going in reverse, but I'm not really concerned about that right now. I'm more concerned about it uh, going uh, plus or minus when it's supposed to. It wasn't doing that until today. So, all right, that's it. That's the end of it. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.